Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video we're going to be learning about neutralization reactions. It's... Hey, welcome back. So this particular neutralization reaction is hydrochloric acid and sodium bicarbonate, otherwise known as baking soda. It's probably one of my favorite reactions to watch. I mean, just for me, there's something quite calm about watching the bubbles form and just watching everything uh, neutralize there. Uh, but what exactly is actually going on? Well, uh, if you recall from one of our earlier videos, uh, acid-base reactions like this are just a special form of double replacement which means it's actually very simple to predict what their products are going to be. So, grab your periodic table and let me show you how it's done. Let's go! Alright, so here we go with the neutralization reactions. Let's go ahead and take a look at this first example. It says, a sample of sulfuric acid was completely neutralized by aluminum hydroxide. Alright, so we have two compounds here. We have sulfuric acid and aluminum hydroxide. So let's start by writing their formulas. So sulfuric acid, if you remember your acid naming rules that I covered in an earlier video, you will remember that since there is no hydro here, this is a uh, polyatomic ion, So and it's IC, sulfuric, which means that this polyatomic ion is sulfate. So that is SO4. So since this is an acid, we're going to start with hydrogen, and we've got SO4. Sulfate has a charge of negative 2, which means we need two uh, hydrogens, so that is H2SO4. Then we're going to say plus, and then we have aluminum hydroxide. So aluminum is Al, hydroxide is OH, aluminum has a charge of plus 3, hydroxide is negative 1, so I need three hydroxides to balance that out. Okay, so those are the two reactants. Now what we got to do is figure out the products. Well, the cool thing about acid-base reactions, specifically the neutralization reactions here, the first product is always going to be H2O. Every single time. Why, you ask? Well, it's simply because uh, the hydrogen from the acid and the hydroxide from the base will become HOH, or in other words, H2O. Right? Plus, it's a neutralization reaction, and water is neutral, so it should make sense that water is always a product. So what we have to do now is figure out what is the last product. Well, since the hydrogen and the hydroxide are already used, we have to look at the two ions that are left over. So in this case, sulfate and aluminum. So aluminum is going to go first, because aluminum is positive. If you remember from our ionic compound rules, positive ion goes first, negative ion goes second. Aluminum is a plus three, sulfate is a negative two, so we're going to crisscross, so this is Al2, and then in parentheses, SO4, three. So we have now cor correctly written out the, uh, the compounds in this equation. So now what we're going to do is balance it. And once again, there's a nice easy little trick to use when balancing these. Always start with the non-water product and balance the ions found in the non-water product, so in this case, the aluminum sulfate. So I have two aluminums here, only one here, so I'm going to put a two in front. I've got three sulfates and only one here, so I'm going to put a three right there. Okay, so now that's balanced, and now all I'm going to have to do in order to balance out the hydrogen and the oxygen is to only look at how many oxygens are here in hydroxide. So in this case, two times three is six, and that is the number of waters. Now just to show you that that works, uh, for our hydrogens we have 3 times 2 which is 6 plus another 6 right there which makes 12 and 6 times 2 is 12 and it is all balanced out. So that's how you do that particular one. Now when we go and look at the second example here, hopefully you will start to notice a pattern and that it's essentially the same thing over and over and over again. I'm also going to point out that since this one is written a little differently, right, it says carbonic acid was titrated to completion with sodium hydroxide. And you're probably looking at this word titrated and going, oh my dear goodness, what is that? Well, hey, it doesn't matter because no matter how the question is worded, no matter how the sentence is phrased, it is always the same thing. Find the two names 
and then write out those formulas and then go from there. So in this case, we have carbonic acid. So again, there's no hydro, so that means it's a polyatomic ion. This one being carbonate, because we have the IC there, which is carbonate. So we start with our hydrogen. We have carbonate, which is CO3, with the charge of negative 2, so H2CO3, plus sodium hydroxide. Sodium is Na. Hydroxide is OH, plus 1, negative 1, so no subscripts are needed. All right, on to the products. Our first product is H2O. And then the second product here is going to be the two ions left over, carbonate and sodium. Well, sodium is going to go first because it's the positive ion. Carbonate goes second. Sodium is plus 1. Carbonate is negative 2, so we need two sodiums and a 2 CO3. All right, and now we're going to balance our equation. Start with the non-water product. So we have two sodiums here, only one there, so I'm going to put a two in front. Uh, one carbonate, one carbonate, so we're good there. And now I'm going to look at the number of oxygens in hydroxide, which in this case is two, and that is the number of waters. Okay, so hopefully now that you have seen me work out two of them, you kind of are starting to pick up on the pattern. And if you've been watching these videos long enough, you know exactly what's going to happen right now. I'm going to scroll down and look at this. I have two more practice problems for you. All right, so pause the video here real quick, work them out, and then we will check again. So here we go. Pause in one, two, three, pause. All right, so here are the answers. Check them out, and if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, check you later. Well, once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and if you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and you'll find that your life is just that much better for it. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.